Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So today we're going to test out the uh, RS10 Red Cat beadlock rims with the G-Made tires on the deadbolt at the Deshaney Falls. I did my first test just going around my own backyard and uh, I thought, well, let's see how these things actually work uh, on the deadbolt, you know, with a bit of rock climbing and going through the falls like we usually do. It's a great place to, to come and do crawling and there's lots of unexplored areas yet we haven't been to but uh, today we're going to stick with our normal path of stuff but uh, I've also got the tires on in the direction that they normally are set up that you'd even see on the that G-Made uh, crawler that's out but um, I want to know how they work on this. Now I did uh, lower the lift kit down a notch too because I found it was still really tipsy and uh, even with these tires on the top end. So uh, I've lowered it down one notch to, to give it a better profile, a little bit better gravity. Um, so hopefully that works out. And I'm also still running completely stock motor, stock gearing, all of it. Um, and I'm running a two cell uh, 5200 milliamp LiPo in the back of the truck. Uh, so no front weight on the truck other than, you know, whatever weight these bead locks uh, supply. So uh, let's get on with it and get up to the trails and have some fun today. Now we do have a lot of leaves that have fallen down so that's going to make it real challenging too. Because during the summer we usually don't have these leaves to worry about. So, you know, we need all the traction we can get but we're also losing a lot with these leaves. I really like these uh, G-Made V-Corns on the RS10 crawler because they work awesome. You know, especially when you reverse the treads are even better. not going to get up there too easily. Oh, again. Alright, one more try on this one. There we go. We're up. This is a little challenging, guys, because it's minus one with a minus six windshield. It's wet out here on the ground. And uh, it's been snowing, too, so yeah. This is a really good uh, test out for these tires, for sure.
got it. Lost it. Another couple inches, it'd be in the drink. Go ahead. Well, guys, I almost lost it. A couple more inches, one direction, and boom, into the drink she'd go. And there go a lot of money. So, let's continue this, shall we? This is probably one of the harder spots on the trail. 
to do. I mean, a summit can walk over this like nobody's business, but doing it with this or the crawlers, a little more challenging. Okay, let's try a new approach. This is the same spot where I almost lost my um, Desert Eagle 3 buggy. Last try, if it doesn't work, what the heck. Which makes it more challenging when you got all this tree stuff down on the ground, plus it's wet and cold. It really sucks for traction. No, it's still too far to the right. I really don't think I'm gonna get this. Um, Okay, one more this way. Oh, there we go. That's all we needed. And we're out of here. Yeehaw.